Hi, I'm Bernie Smith, I'm a keyboard player, and I'm here to talk about the Jupiter 80. Um, the Jupiter 80 has become quite an essential part of my live keyboard rig. I first got the synth when I was rehearsing with Take That for the Progress Tour, and at that point we were halfway through rehearsals, so essentially I had my sounds in good shape already, but I was still not quite there with my string sounds. Now it was one of my roles on that tour to recreate and replay uh, the string parts that were on the records and uh, some of those string arrangements are quite massive, there's lots going on, different articulations, contrapuntal lines, you name it. So in order to play that live I tended to assign different sounds to different keyboards and um, actually route them through different volume pedals as well. And there was still one part of that string setup that I was working on and looking for. I was looking for a, a warm string sound that I could use for sustained chords and that would be great as a kind of bed over which I could play higher string lines. Thankfully, once I got programming with the Jupiter 80, I was able to construct a sound that did exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Being a bit of a synth geek, I was very pleased to discover that um, the display um, when you're editing a synth sound can look just like the old Roland analog synths. Um, so you literally see all the sliders and faders and being a touch screen you just have to touch a, a fader and then adjust the parameter and the job's done. So it's a very intuitive way of editing a sound. And you can actually hook the Jupiter up with an iPad uh, which makes the editing even uh, better still. I'm also impressed by the actual sound quality of the analog section. Um, I think the filters sound really nice and um, it's capable of sounding very fat. <laughs> like to stack up sounds. Um, even in the early days of MIDI I used to hook up loads of synths uh, to create those real big um, soundscapes. And uh, it's one thing you can do really well on the Jupiter 80. Um, in fact it's quite mind-boggling to think of the extent to which you can layer on the Jupiter 80 because you've got three partials per tone, uh, four tones per live set, and you can combine live sets within one registration. So if my maths is right, that means you can actually create sounds with 30 partials per note, which is quite staggering. Um, 30 virtual oscillators per note, really. Say more than anything else, I find the Jupiter 80 an inspiring synth. I find that when I start to play it, ideas start to come. 
I'm a real fan of its orchestral sounds, of its capabilities as a virtual analog synth, and of its ability to create these big multi-textured sounds. And um, it's a synth I literally can't do without now.